What is going on guys? Continuing with our Java for Beginners series, we're going to learn about variables now. And variables are just placeholders that contain values. So I'll show you an example, and this is the project we created last time, our Hello World application. And if you've closed this down, you can create a new project by going to File, New, and then clicking New Java Project. But I'm going to continue with this, and I'm going to delete this line here. We don't need that anymore. So there are many different types of variables, and we're going to learn about them as we move through this course. But today we're going to learn about one called int, or integer. And integers are just numbers. So for example, you can have an int variable, and maybe you want to give it a name, let's just say x, and this can have the value 5. You can have another int variable, int my num, and this could have the value 10. So right here, we have a variable called x, which has the value 5, and a variable called my num, which has the value 10. And we can actually print these out, just like we did with the hello world message last time. We can say system.out.println, like that, and we can put anything in there. So we can say x, and if I put a semicolon at the end of that line, and then click run, you should see 5 at the bottom there. You can use my num instead. So instead of x in there, I'm going to put my num, which is our other variable up here. And when I click play now, you'll see 10 is printed out. We can also create a new variable based on the value of these two. So for example, I can create a new one, int, I'll call this abc, equals my num, and I can say plus 5, and put a semicolon at the end as well. So here, we've created a variable called abc, which has a type int, and the value of it is going to be my num plus 5. So it sees my num and goes and gets the value, which here is 10, and it adds 5 to it. So this should contain 15. So if I print that out now, A, B, C, you should see 15. So like I said, there are many different types of variables, but I would say int, when you're starting out, is a very common one. So this is a good place to start. So by now, you should know how to create a variable with the type int and give it any name you want, and then also give it a value. And then down here, I've also shown you how you can print them out too.